Hi again, everybody. Uh, today, we want to work on your knees, OK? We want our knees to help our turns and give us speed if we need it and also contribute to our balance, OK? Now, a lot of people don't know this. When we dance, OK, when you're dancing with a, uh, as a couple dancer, uh, we don't use turn out. So what we do to help our turns is we turn our knees in. So turn your knee. Go like this. Just push one knee over the other. Okay. Now you notice, when you push that knee in, it also turns your side in. Now you're going to find out, like we had talked about before, you remember when we said do turns, you push your elbow. If you're turning right, you push your left elbow across. If you're turning left, you push your right elbow. The exact same thing is normally happening in the knees. So if you're going to turn to your right, you put your left uh, knee in. If you're turning to left, you put your right knee. Right. And see, that starts to turn you. That helps turn you. As a matter of fact, that should also start going in before you do the turn. So if you have your elbow and knee going in before the turn, it turns out to be a, uh, a very good turn. Okay. Now, the reason we do this, the reason we don't use turn out and we use turn in instead, or knee in, is for the speed, especially for the, um, for the follower. For her to respond, if she already has her knees dancing in, as soon as I go to lead her, okay, she has one knee, she can respond very quickly. Whereas if we were dancing uh, uh, toe out, our legs are too straight, and it would take too long to turn that leg in. So the response wouldn't be very good. This is more automatic. So we don't use turn out, we use turn in. We turn our knees in, not our toes. Now we're going to have you practice you know, turning your toes into a little pigeon toe, but that's only for practice. When we're actually dancing, we turn the knees in, but the toes stay straight. Now take, for example, if we do just a rock step in just like the, the East Coast swing. We go rock, step. So you notice how she did that? So now it's not just back and forth. She does a little bit of a rotation, a little bit of a rotation. See that? And I'm actually leading her a little bit. I'm giving her a little bit of a push on this hand up here, on that shoulder to go back and forth. See the idea? OK, so now, so say we're just doing our basic step, trip, and we want to do an underarm turn. Rock, step, one, a uh, two. Now right here, she came in a little bit, and we use the same rule. We're going to turn to the right, so we try and start, start on our right foot. But now as I start turning her body, her knee goes in right away. OK, let's exaggerate that down. You put it way in. See that? Way in. So before you turn, and you'll get that from the lead. So as soon as this hand starts going, that knee starts going in. Then she does her triple. Exactly. So right here, we take our time, and we go. One, two, three, and in, triple step right. So she kept her left knee in as she was turning to the right through that whole triple step. Okay, so it's a, a far difference uh, from like we, when you were a beginner and you just side to the other side and did everything straight. Okay, very boring and uh, nothing to fill up the music with. Then when she comes out to do the rock step, if we do the uh, reverse turn, it's slightly different. We go rock, step, and we actually start on the first triple when you're doing the rock step, and she's turning the right knee in because she's turning left. So she goes rock, knee in, triple step, triple step. See the idea? Now the reason on the regular underarm turn that we don't turn until the end of the triple is because now she's on her right foot. Now she can turn to her right, triple step, and rock, step. She turns the knee in, triple step, and rock, step. Triple step, and triple step, and rock, step. Triple triple, and rock, OK? Now, we're using the, the follower as example just because the follower usually turns more. But if the uh, leader would turn, he would do the same thing. If he did some kind of, say, like a hand pass, da, 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 ba, 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 rock, step, bum, bum, bum. See, I'm turning that, that uh, right knee in. Triple step, triple step, rock, step, turn it in, turn it in. It makes me turn. I can give her a reverse turn. Rock step, triple step, knee in, right. And if you want to turn a little faster, you can actually kick that knee across a little bit, and it'll make so you can uh, adjust the power that you need, depending on the speed of the dance or maybe the number of turns that you want to do. Okay, so practice that. Practice your knees in. I'm trying to see if there's any other type of walk we could do. Boom, boom. We could we could do a walk like that. We could do swivels, and go in. That's the idea. But the knees always work towards each other. That gives you a good sense of balance and helps you turn out the uh, uh, turns a whole lot. Okay, uh, again, thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time. Bye.